OK, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Israeli government spokesman Elon Levy. This is day 95 of the October 7th war. We'll begin with our latest figures. IDF fatalities since the start of the October 7 massacre have risen to 519. That's up by 12 since our last update on Tuesday. The people of Israel mourn the deaths of Lieutenant Colonel Roy Yochai Yosef Mordechai, Sergeant First Class Miron Moshe Gersh, Staff Sergeant Sufyan Dagash, Sergeant First Class Reserves David Schwartz, Sergeant First Class Reserves Gabriel Bloom, Sergeant First Class Reserves Yakia Hexter, Sergeant Roy Tal, Sergeant Major Reserves Akiva Yasinski, Master Sergeant Reserves Roy Avram Maimon, Captain Reserves Ron Efremi, Captain Reserves De Dennis Kromakov, Wexler, Master Sergeant Reserves Amit Moshe Shaha. We salute them for their heroism and embrace their families at this moment of impossible pain and grief. An update on the hostage crisis. Time is running out for the 136 vulnerable hostages still trapped in the Hamas terror dungeons. And in fact, time has already run out for the 25 hostages killed in Hamas captivity. Uh, just now, the Families Forum, the Hostages Forum, has released a medical report that we urge you all to read, detailing how all of the hostages face immediate life-threatening danger in Hamas captivity and there is no time left for them. We welcome sustained media coverage of their plight and note especially the powerful report in the Daily Mail by Natalie Lisbona and Andy Yearing. Don't forget them. Faces of girls still held by Hamas. We welcome condemnations of the Hamas rapist regime's crimes by UN appointed experts Alice Jill Edwards and Morris Tidball Bins, who said the growing evidence about reported sexual violence is particularly harrowing, constituting gross violations of international law and war crimes that may, we say obviously do, qualify as crimes against humanity. It is therefore especially regrettable that instead of campaigning for their unconditional release, UN agencies have been urging Israel to leave the Hamas rapist regime in power. To them we say, if anyone thinks we are going to abandon those vulnerable hostages in the hands of the Hamas rapist regime, get out of our way. This week, survivors of the Hamas terror dungeons and relatives of the remaining hostages have been testifying before the Knesset about the psychological, physical and sexual abuse that the Hamas rapist regime has been perpetrating against the hostages. Hostage Elia Cohen has been denied Red Cross access despite suffering from epilepsy, one of many medically vulnerable hostages, including Hirsch Goldberg Polin, who had his arm blown off, and Omer Shemtov, who suffers from asthma. Survivor Aviva Siegel whose husband Keith is still a hostage, shared first-hand eyewitness testimony of Hamas monsters, her words, torturing a female hostage right next to her. Relatives of hostages have also spoken with horror about the possibility of pregnant hostages as a result of Hamas rape. Reminding the world that time is running out, not only for the hostages, but also for the women potentially carrying the babies of Hamas rapists to terminate those pregnancies. We demand immediate diplomatic pressure to secure the immediate and unconditional return of all of those vulnerable hostages. A diplomatic update. In recent hours, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has met with our ally U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who also met with the War Cabinet. We welcome Secretary Blinken here on an important mission to bring back the hostages and prevent the war that Hamas declared on October 7th from spreading any further, a war that has already displaced 80,000 Israelis from their homes on the Lebanese border, homes that Hezbollah is shelling. The time is now for the international community to demand the enforcement of UN Security Council Resolution 1701 from 2006 and to push the Hezbollah Army of Terror north of the Litani River. To the world we say clearly, act now before it is too late. There is a diplomatic window which we strongly prefer to stop Hezbollah's aggression by peaceful means and that diplomatic window is narrow. Hezbollah and its Iranian warlord patrons are dragging Lebanon into an unnecessary war with their non-stop rocket fire at northern Israel. Hezbollah has two choices, back off or be pushed away. It is not too late for the world to get Hezbollah to back off so that our people can return safely to their homes. And if that fails, do not complain when we are forced to push it away. An operational update from Gaza. With each passing day, the IDF continues to expose more about the Hamas human shield strategy, and we continue to urge firm international condemnations of Hamas's sixth strategy of protecting its military assets under civilian sites.
Just yesterday, the IDF's Golani Brigade located the largest weapons production site discovered since the beginning of the October 7 war in Burej. The soldiers found components for long-range rockets that could be fired from the Gaza Strip as far as northern Israel. The production site is, was, connected to a branched tunnel network that had been used by Hamas to transport weapons to its terrorist battalions throughout the Gaza Strip. Hamas has every intention of continuing to murder Israelis, ideally in its view, millions of Israeli citizens across our country. They want to commit further acts of genocide, just like they did on October 7th, and the State of Israel remains firm in its resolve to destroy Hamas and continue fighting to bring back all of the hostages and ensure that the Gaza Strip can never again pose a threat to the people of Israel, not like it did on October 7th and not like it did in the preceding 20 years of rocket fire. And that's the end of today's update, and as always, we'll now take your questions. First question is from Jim Williams of Zenger International News Service in Washington, D.C. Elon, is there any word on the hostage families attempting to block aid trucks getting into Gaza? Uh, Jim, I have no update on that. That would be a question for the uh, hostage families, not for the government of Israel. Okay, that's all, everyone. Uh, please keep safe, and we will update you about the timing of uh, following briefings. Thank you very much.